Wow, good morning, everybody, and uh, happy Wednesday to you. Wet Wednesday as we're talking about rain this morning, and we're seeing some heavy rain, especially around downtown in through the Inland Empire. We have Riverside, San Bernardino, down and through South Orange County, up against the foothills, Santa Clarita. Some really good rain now, especially as we come down the 5 freeway into downtown. We are seeing areas where the rain is not an issue, so for those of you waking up, perhaps you peeked outside and it looks dry. Well, we do have some spots of that heavy rain that we have been talking about. This rain will continue on again, off again throughout the morning, and we do anticipate some wet roads out there. Already some problems out on the roads, and you can see from the look into Long Beach, a little obscured here along the coast. So on a Wednesday morning, we're starting you off with a little weather and traffic. Ginger traffic already a problem in some spots, so I'll send it over to you. like there in downtown. We have a few things that we want to break down, of course. And so let's take you first to look at the conditions along some of our different cameras. We saw that one coming out of Long Beach, but this one shows us the 10 freeway right here at Waterman. So it's a very wide stretch that we're able to show you, right? You see the deteriorated weather there in Long Beach, and then you see it here too for our friends in areas of San Bernardino, 10 freeway, both directions at Waterman, a great camera that shows us not a lot of volume, but we do have these wet roads. Now, a terrible situation that may not be a shock to anybody who drives as a stretch of the five freeway. So they have shut down the five south, the main lines of the five south to the truck bypass lanes. They have shut down the five south outside the truck bypass lanes at the 405. And it's all because of a jackknife big rig. We're trying to find out whether or not there are any injuries, but we know the big rig when a jackknife was loaded up with 40,000 pounds of stuff. And then in addition to that, it was a separate crash that happened in the same spot. This is the 101 freeway heading north at about Santa Monica Boulevard. The driver was very smart, put the hazard lights on right away, even put out his cell phone so that he could watch, uh, put uh, use it as like a flashlight to warn everybody he's here. But it looks like he kind of went up the embankment, came down the embankment, and now we've got debris all over the place. And this one has turned into a really, really serious situation if your plans take you here. So you have to be ready uh, for your drive on that 101 freeway heading north. A lot of rain in downtown L.A. as well. Uh, we'll keep track of these things. It's a very busy and active morning for sure. No surprise. I'll send it back to you, too. All right, Ginger, thank you. 402 is the time. We're continuing our storm coverage with our Carlos Herrera. Yeah, he's live in Drive, drive 5 through downtown L.A. with a look at the conditions there. Carlos, good morning. Hey, good morning. You know, conditions not looking too bad here. We're actually approaching Bow Heights here on the 5 South. I'll take a look uh, outside here so we can flip it around here. There you go. Conditions not too bad here this morning. There you see the 5 South heading towards Santa Ana as well as we approach that 60 East split towards Pomona. And there you see that 6th Street Bridge. Conditions not too bad enough, however, to get uh, the windshield wipers going. Take a look at this video here shot just a few hours ago. As Henry has been talking about since yesterday, actually, this will be a low impact rain event overall with just a few hours of light showers, but definitely enough to bring some much much needed rain to our area. Downtown LA saw some overnight drizzle, about an hour of rainfall. This video here shot in the area of the uh, 10 freeway and Hoover overcrossing this morning. Uh, shot after night. Cars had their windshield wipers activated. The rain enough to make roads slippery and dangerous, especially because it is the first rain of the season. Uh, early morning rain also fell in Claremont. It was stronger than it was in downtown LA, enough to create some puddles there in a spot known for dangerous flooding and debris flow. Authorities say there are no reports of major issues of flooding, uh, people taking it slow on the roads this morning. That's exactly what we like to see. Uh, there are also some trouble spots as we bring it back out here live.